Alright, so we're back to uh, Stellaris. The Federation's update is out, and I decided that it's probably beneficial that we we, we, we do this. Um, so everything's here. It looks like a lot of the design has changed in terms of up here. Uh, consumer goods is something we have to keep an eye on now. Uh, alloys is another thing. Yep. Uh, that's, uh, that's strategic resources. Influence, unity... Uh, that's just overall technology. Empire Sprawl, it's something new. Empire Systems, Colonies, uh, Population, Starbase Capacity, I'm assuming that has to do with the Naval Fleet. Oh wait, no, that's Naval Capacity. What's Starbase Capacity? Three Starbases, Outpost... Oh, oh wait, wait, <laughs> I have no idea, man. Um, shipyards, Military Fleets, um, Citizen Ships, Sectors are up here now. Can get rid of that right there. Holy shit! So it's a lot more like the PC version, I see. Um, where you have to uh, just build on slots like that. Okay, all right, yeah, that's right. Um, you have a city district now, generator district, mining district, agricultural district. So essentially, this means you can only have up to like believe like seven agricultural areas and then you can have eight of this eight and then probably a full ten so that is interesting all right so you cannot build what you kind of want anymore that's nice um corporate we don't have yet uh, what's uh let's decide on what we need to research here holy shit even this is new um yeah, we'll, we'll do that, I guess, because I don't, I don't, all this, this isn't new. This is something I'm familiar with here, except for that. I'm not familiar with that. Uh, but the research points are definitely a lot different than they used to be, because this used to be like 300, now it's 3,000. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, that's a lot. It's a, definitely a lot. We'll do that. But we'll speed up time a bit. <laughs> Cause uh yeah, this is something we're not really used to. I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be honest or gonna be honest with you here. Uh, okay, so where am I in terms of the area? So it's a lot <sighs> I think I'm in the ring, the outside ring. Yeah. So I don't like how it's kinda difficult to see where my like my group is my outline. Uh, well, shit. Let's explore and survey. Those are different now. My gosh, why is everything so different? <laughs> everything feels so different in this game. Oh, well, we're not doing that. So we'll just survey that. Go here, here. This game seems to be incredibly different from what it used to be. So we'll start surveying stuff and then go here. We don't have to survey our own system for one, so that's actually kind of nice. So Christ alive, we have just to build all start building our resources here we're actually getting quite a bit of minerals to start out with that that's actually kind of an insane amount we usually do not have anywhere near that kind of capabilities so I can huh situation right. log updated um so what this is planetary administration research labs ally foundries civilian industries okay <sighs> god damn this, this is like me trying to figure out this whole game over again and my god I do have an end game on because I figure we might as well have something to look forward to yay <laughs> Holy shit, this stuff takes months! Oh my god! What the hell? Fuck you! Oh, that's a, that's a pain in the ass.
That is uh, that's a little bit insane in my opinion. Oh, you can trade for stuff now. That's interesting. Oh, yeah, let's um go to something I typically always have to change. Yeah. I usually go to Liberation Wars. Makes people a bit more happy. Uh Border status open. Militarized economy. I guess we'll keep that for now. Oh, fucking hell, man. Slavery? We're gonna prohibit slavery. Well, I don't, I don't usually have slaves, so that's something I don't really have to worry about. Holy shit! <laughs> Situation log updated. Construction complete. Yeah, build your research re stations. Research stations cost either a ridiculous amount or they're a hundred apiece. I think they're a hundred apiece, yeah. Yeah, they are. Which I guess they always were a hundred. I don't really remember exactly. So the shipyard, holy shit, why is this all... Okay, these are the modules. So you get less modules than you did before. Oh, but you get buildings you can create here. Okay, so that makes a little bit more sense now. Defense, I can create defense platforms on it now? Holy shit. There's so much to do! Oh my god, this is insane how much there is. I'm trying to still figure out this. Like, hell, I don't know what to produce. Uh, what do we need? I mean, we're cont I guess the goods is something we kind of need here. But civil God, that upkeep is ridiculous. Okay. This is to increase unity. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Uh, culture workers turn consumer goods into unity. Okay, so yeah, that just makes me get more unity out of that. Um, you know what? Never a bad thing to have, I guess. So. I don't know necessarily how to add certain things here. System survey complete. All right. Well, we we surveyed another system, and apparently, it does it doesn't have a habitable. I don't know. I really don't. I'm assuming too that I I can or cannot construct here. Yeah, it's not within our borders. So our borders are much smaller than it used to. It used to get the surrounding area. That's nuts. That's Holy true. shit, you'd have to build an outpost just to get there. That's actually kind of crazy. I think part of me is preferring the older version. <laughs> I'm not too sure yet on my opinions. Wait, so where is my, my station? So my station is nowhere near, like, my city anymore. Or my, uh, planet. So I'd have to go... To, to here? To orbit the star? <laughs> yeah, I have to orbit the star. Um. Oh, here we go. Some planet blockers there. Yay. So, so the, the other things I can add. Oh wait, well that's that's just good things on the planet that I have. Construction complete. So what? I'm like thinking about what the hell I even have to do. So Normally I found. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Uh, so I'm assuming these, uh, blockers are on, um, shit, not what I wanted to do again. I'm assuming these blockers, at least two of them, 
are in this area because it has like two orange or red like things there. I don't know. I'm kind of curious to see if either that or the one, the two like semi faded ones in the red up in the top right on the red thing will disappear on this one. Construction complete. Okay, so we got rid of the ones here. So it does like make an impact, I see. Oh yeah, and then you get your little thing here. I like to do stew. Do... They could have changed this. Yeah, yeah, they did. Used to be that um, mining stations to produce them were 33 percent less. So. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I guess we'll do 10% production there, but that's still kind of like a middle finger. <laughs> uh, that is kind of a middle finger, in my opinion. I see we have seven. Was that me getting rid of one of these? I don't really know. That's great. I appreciate it. population so in terms of population like whoa wait what does that do oh it's his favorite I'm assuming that has to do with like culture like I'm favoring one thing over another I have no idea Where are my armies in general? Construction well. complete. Oh, current armies. I got two defensive armies. Oh, let's not do that. What, so I can't build any more armies? And that, uh... Does this have to do with population or the fact that I just... I think it has to do with population. So I can build... Or is this like... Like these are in this row. And then these are in... Th I don't know how this works. Oh, okay, wait. I just added... I'm adding a generator district now. So... Wait, wait, wait. Technically, could I just... Yeah. That's weird. I don't even think that cost me any money. Oh, wait, it probably did, but yeah, it did, definitely did. Never mind. <laughs> it definitely cost me money. Uh, let's remove that. <laughs> Why is this so confusing? <laughs> like, holy shit. Uh, uh, let's see. It produces 12 of the consumer goods that we're going to need now. Yeah. Found. Uh, well, <laughs> not yet. So the generator district, what is that? Wait, what did I just do? I don't know. What does that do for me? Housing plus two technician jobs. It produces eight credits. Okay, so it produces eight credits for me. So it is a decent amount of credits. Uh, System survey complete. Let's look at the uh, fleet here, because I don't know. What is this Starfleet can... Whoa. Even that has a lot of stuff. Patrol? I could have a patrol now? What? So three Corvettes. Okay. There's so This is like when the next update in No Man's Sky came out, and I'm just like baffled. Like, what do I do? Why? What is this stuff? <laughs> but uh, I'm glad I'm trying to get my, my bearings on. This is my first time, obviously, with this. As you could tell, I'm quite baffled by this. That's going to take a year to do. That's insane. Holy shit. Alright. Jesus Christ. This is just a lot to get a hold of. I'm not going to lie to you. 
There's just so much going on at the moment that I can't even bear or manage to, <laughs> to figure this out. So, did we not finish doing this? We can only colonize planets within our borders? What? <laughs> How are you supposed to grow? What? <laughs> what, do I have to build a fucking uh, uh, outpost there now? That's so it's, it's insane! That is insane. What? <sighs> I, I, I don't even know. Alright, I guess I'll build another science ship while I'm at it. So it requires alloys now to make science ships, or any ship, really. <laughs> Instead of uh, materials. Or minerals. Holy shit. Wait. Uh, never mind. complete. Um, I got another science ship. I'm gonna try to spread that the fuck out. Uh, one thing I'm gonna ask among all of you is, um, help. <laughs> this doesn't cost influence anymore, it costs credits? What? <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, one thing I'm gonna ask from you all is, um, uh, how do I do any of this? Because this is, um... This is all kind of overwhelming. But they did, like, jump up and add a lot to this game. And, uh, it is a w teeny bit overwhelming, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um... I'm a little like, what do I do? How do I do it? Kind of thing. Uh, Construction complete. I'm assuming going here, then there, yeah, and then we'll have them go back to here. We need to explore as much as we can. I don't know where all of my. Uh, credits are going to. <laughs> I don't know I don't know where they're going to basically. I feel like I just I had nineteen just now and then they're just gone. Um But I could build two more. Let's build two more. Cause we kinda need credits. Credits is always something you need early game though. That that's never really changed. I guess, like, once that's done, do I make a colony ship and, like, even attempt to colonize? Or is it gonna still just be like, nah, you can't do that? Uh. I don't know how it necessarily works. Build one of these as well, a mining district. I'm assuming from that we'll get. Yeah, eight. Food we're good with. And now that I built the. civilian industries, it's actually much better. Uh, building consumer goods. Does this have to do with population? Okay, so they all add population to it, housing to it, but this does the most. Wait, what? Yeah, it's gonna be difficult. Yeah, why not? So uh, that adds just the most housing and it adds the fewest jobs. Makes sense now. Um,. I kind of like how you have actual sectors with it now, because that way you don't have to waste any of this on it. This stuff's kind of just extra. So, um, that's kind of nice, but at the same time, a little like, what the fuck? Uh, <laughs> this whole game is like, just becomes something way new. Jesus, I don't, I don't know anymore. Once I have a few things built, we'll be a bit more. Go. 
aware of things. I don't know. I just this is such a like. I don't. I haven't even like researched my first few things because it takes so long to research those said things. So I should probably be focusing on research as well. Because holy shit, does it take a lot of time? to just research anything. I'm glad, but all of this takes so long. Like, that is insane. Situation log updated. Finishing 182 months. Holy fucking hell. That's literal years, dude. I don't have that kind of time. That is, that is nuts. I don't even know. I don't even know, man. I feel like I have so many things I can't do anymore. Like I want to colonize and go outward, but I feel like I can't. System survey complete. I guess I can go to my shipyard now and try to create like a colony ship. System survey complete. And if I have to, and that way I'll um. I'll, I'll see if I can immediately colonize the planet over here, and if I can't, I'll build an outpost, and if I cannot, or if I can, I'll hopefully be successful, so, otherwise I cannot. Wait, 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 wait. Orange planet. The fuck does an orange planet mean? That was like, yellow means you're compatible, and then red is not compatible unless they, yeah. They're definitely two different colors. Uh, <laughs> they're definitely two different colors here and here. Unless orange is now like the medium or mid sized thing. I don't know. This is all very, very confusing. So, let's get rid of the last um, thing here. Because I believe it's. Yeah, it's hindering everything so let's get rid of the last one there after we create the mining district once more I again I don't know where my energy credits are going this is going to, to building and getting rid of resources but at the same time I just added 16 points why is it so low you know that's something I just don't know why. It's it's just consistently going down. I've built three of these, like so I've had tw added 24. So either I'm spending at an abnormally high rate, or some of these costs don't make sense. Like I understand that has an upkeep, all right. I understand everything has an upkeep, but at the same time, some of these resources are not making sense. Wait, 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 wait. I saw that. Okay, so they start taking up other areas. So if I build another generator, I can't build any more mineral. I can build one less minerals and one less city. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, I see how this is. Well, we need food to start with. That's 12 food. Okay, okay, I see how this is going now. To an extent. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so we need food, or we're gonna run a deficit of food. Okay, so yeah, well, that was something that took up some of the energy Anomaly credits. Found. That is completely fine. I just wanted to make sure that that was correct in that instance, because I was like really confused on that whole thing. Um,. I know this will require kind of a bit to maintain as well. 
Yeah, so I can't colonize the planet because it's not within my borders, so I guess build an outpost station and then then build it. Again, I don't, I'm not sure how it works. So you build an outpost station. You get rid of the outpost station once you have a planet there, or like a colonized planet, because like, I don't know how borders are necessarily going to work anymore. That is very just confusing to me. Oh, I, I'm glad we're doing this too, because I have no idea what the fuck this is. <laughs> I want to know what that orange one is. There's another orange one right here. Apparently I've uh I've not colonized that one or or scanned it. I don't know. I don't think I actually scanned that. I have not. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. Well, it turned red, so anomaly found. Wow, lots of anomal anomalies that I cannot research. So that's fun. I kind of miss. I like. I hate how like it, the borders over here it like expands all the way here. Like, so I can't use that. <laughs> can't use anything over there. What? So I create another food district and I couldn't. It just did nothing. That's lovely. I'm so glad that did that. I, I add food, 12 base t for food production and it goes up by none. Like, glad. Glad to see that. Ah, oh, man. I'm excited to see what this is going to do. Alright, so yeah, it increases your borders there. <laughs> uh, well, we're going to colonize that planet. Uh, let's name this Remen. Let's go. When I eventually start the Orsidium campaign again, we'll just do it so it's like... I don't know. Orsinium 1, 2, 3, and 4, because the Orcs lose a lot of... <laughs> the Orcs have had lost a lot. Uh, colonization in progress. Yeah. Colonization, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so sectors. Let's, uh, we don't need System that because you have our men right there. So I'm assuming once. Anomaly found. Oh my god. Fine, do that anomaly. Uh, I'm assuming a star base, li like. Evading hostile fleet. Okay, so it could turn into a shipyard, I'm assuming. Again, I'm assuming like it's going to have us research. That isn't actually that expensive, now that I think about it. So, um... Construction complete. We're still not going to do it, because, uh... <laughs> like, I need to, um... Yeah, we're still not going to do it because I need to, what do you call it, finish my first things I've researched. Like, that's insane. I still haven't even came close to finishing it. I'm, like, closest with this one, but that was because <laughs> I don't even know. Why is it so much more expensive? Uh, I find that ridiculous. That whole thing. That whole thing I find absolutely ridiculous. That it costs, it takes years to do that kind of stuff. And I added another one of the food districts, and I'm only getting plus six. Where is my food going to now? Like, that's another thing. Where is my food going to? Like, I cannot be consuming. I couldn't have grown that quickly. I mean, I guess I did increase the population, but then I'm like, I'm not getting anything down here either. So where is that food going in my mind? Can't help but think that. So, that's the weird thing for me. Oh, nice. This, this is a shitty place. It has one thing for the mining district, unless it upgrades more as you, you know, start clearing things out, but complete. lovely. 
regardless of which, this is where we're gonna end things. I know it's relatively slow compared to how we usually start in these games, but still, I just don't know what to do. Uh, comparing, uh, considering how things are, but um. Yeah, with that, we'll see you all in the next episode. Peace. If you enjoyed, please like this video because it really lets me know you're enjoying this content. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. The links are right here for you to click on, and the Discord chat link is right here as well. And overall, I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.